Rogers. Welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Sarah Thompson. Now joining me on set is Susan Berardi, writer and producer of The Violinist, a play attempting to shine new light on the face of autism. It's so great to have you here. Thank you so much for having me. So this isn't, even though The Violinist, it's, you know, this is not your first time, you know, being in this position again of writer, producer of a play. Um, tell me all about this and how this has all come together. Okay. Yeah, this is our third original production for Action for Autism, which is a local charity. I know we're going to talk more about that in a, in a minute. Um, it's really meant to give voice to the children who have autism um, and their families, and that was really what I started out to do. My first play was in 2011, and it was called The Violinist, but it had a completely different story. The only thing that is kind of a carryover from that first uh, show is Thomas, the lead character, which is a 13-year-old boy with autism, and then his mom and dad. But it's a whole new adventure and a whole new set of bad guys and, and, and plot line as well. All new music, everything is new. Um, personally, I love music. I'm a musician myself, a songwriter, and, and I play the piano. And so a unique part of this is that we have live music, uh, and a lot of it. We have a live string quartet that's going to play at the show, as well as the original music like this song that you heard. Yeah, so tell me about that song, because that's actually really quite unique. Yes. Uh, I wrote the lyrics to that song, and uh, I wrote those lyrics probably three months ago, and it took me about ten minutes to write it because... It, it was a labor of love, mm -hmm. of course, and it really is meant to be from my son Peyton's perspective. Mm -hmm. I have a 15-year-old with autism, um, and we've been living with that and challenged by it and mm -hmm. also awed by it, uh, and, and I wanted to give him a voice from his perspective. One of the key myths I think that people have about mm -hmm. autism is that they think that the kids like being alone. Hmm. because mm -hmm. they're alone a lot of the time, mm -hmm. and they have such a difficulty in picking up social cues and interacting with their mm -hmm. peers. But they don't like mm -hmm. being alone, and they desperately want to have a friend. Mm -hmm. They just don't know how to go mm -hmm. about it. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the key things that I want to, in raising awareness is to give, them that, give people that perspective and to say, they're not content being alone, and they're not content being on their computer all mm -hmm. the time or, or in their home all the time. They, they desperately want friends, mm -hmm. and they ask how they can do it, and they want just one friend sure. out there. And so that's really what the song, um, the lyrics anyway, that's what they imply. And I hooked up with a Hollywood uh, composer and uh, singer-songwriter, Brian Arada. He wrote all the music for the lyrics for that song. Uh, he's just an amazing guy. He's been with Seth MacFarlane for about eight years mm -hmm. now on The Family Guy. He does a lot of the orchestrations for The Family Guy, as well as he's been on Shooter, uh, Live Free or Die Hard, Spider-Man 3. He th he's done a lot of yeah. things in Hollywood, and whenever I pitch the project to him, he right away he's like, absolutely, I want to be part of it. That's fantastic. Tell me a bit about the actual storyline, because, I mean, when you hear the violin, it's, it's, it's got a slightly sinister element to it, so we yes. want to prepare people, because it's not probably what they think. Right. Uh, yeah. Thomas, the lead character, is a very accomplished violinist, mm -hmm. That's, and he plays a lot of songs during the show, and beautiful, and Robin Strickland, who is my little 13-year-old actor. Which we're um, seeing it. Yes, open. there he mm -hmm. is. Uh, he's an amazing violinist and actor, and so he takes the lead. But beyond that, the show is really, the whole show is a murder mystery. Mm -hmm. And th there are two through lines, uh, you, you could say, going through it. One is the murder mystery. Uh, a a, a well-known doctor has been murdered, and because of Thomas's keen observational skills, he starts chasing the clues and starts figuring out who the actual murderer is before anyone else does. His father is a journalist chasing the story. Got it. And that's kind of the connection. But the human aspect of it, of it is he desperately wants to connect with his father. I his see. father is a big baseball fan, a traditional type of guy uh -huh. that also struggles because his son has autism and uh -huh. he can't connect with him in the ways that traditional uh, children connect with their fathers, especially boys. Uh -huh. So there's that story between the parents and the son and the family just struggling so hard to mm -hmm. connect with each other. The love is there, but 
the yeah. autism really makes no, sense. No, it's so interesting. Well, when we come back, I want to learn more about how you came up with this idea and really it's just quite fascinating yeah. and very, that's very complex. And also the partner for this that you've worked with, Action for Autism. But we've got there right there on the screen for you the information to go check out the play. It's taking place this weekend, August 8th through, 10 at, 8th through 10th at Gaslight Theater, right there in the Central West End. And 100% of the proceeds benefit Action for Autism. We're actually going to talk more about that when we come back from break when we're joined by a representative from Action for Autism. So please stay with us after this short break. Don't want 